Um, as y'all know, I'm attorney Chris Stewart, and I tried to figure out a way to encompass everything that's going on and get rid of the division of one side versus the other and get the whole country to understand what's going on. And the first thing that came to mind is what we all just went through with the coronavirus outbreak. We all sheltered in place for months, losing our mind. And then we started seeing on the news large amounts of white Americans demanding change, coming out and rallying in the streets and protesting and making their governments change laws so that we could start getting back to regular life. And as I sat stunned watching TV and watching so many of our white brothers and sisters out there rallying, protesting because they thought something was wrong with the current state of laws in their city or state, we didn't have a problem with it. That is their right as Americans to demand change, to demand laws change. So why is it so offensive or painful or off-putting when African Americans step forward to demand change against police brutality? Why is it so wrong when we are protesting in the street when we see something wrong with police abuse? It's our God-given and American right also. So it's a thing of unity when you see both sides of it. You have to support and vocal, vocalize your rights as we did and we watched on TV and as people are doing in the streets now. Demanding changes in laws, in policies, in accountability, in value of life where that a man that was running away doesn't get shot twice in the back. And now there's a question of was it reckless or um, should he have uh, used that force? Let me tell you and show you why shooting in a crowded parking lot is so reckless and so unnecessary of what he did. A witness today sent us his vehicle, which was hit by one of Officer Rowe's bullets while he and his kids were in the car. A couple feet up and we would have had another loss of life. So, trying to justify the actions of shooting at uh, Mr. Brooks as he's running away in a crowded Wendy's parking lot uh, when you can easily catch him later for uh, what started off as a very non-confrontational situation, um, it can't be justified. It cannot be justified. Otherwise, we're going to continue to lose lives from stray bullets shooting at someone that should have never been shot at. And people ask, how could this have ended? Why didn't, why did he resist? Why it could have ended there? Well, it also could have ended here. I can walk. My sister's house is right here. That's how this could have ended. It didn't have to go to that level. And that's what we're saying in America with policing is this type of empathy is gone. The courtesy of an officer, it wasn't like he was called there because Mr. Brooks had been swerving and was a danger to society. The first call was because a man was asleep. Where is the empathy in just letting him walk home? That's what policing is supposed to be, no matter what color you are. But as they said, that's broken, that's gone. We don't see that often, and we definitely don't see it in the African-American community. So just like the protests before, that's what we're demanding. It's not just laws and policy changes, but a mental change in policing, <laughs> which is missing. So we do want everybody's support. We're looking forward to the DA's findings in this situation. Um, and the only thing that we can ask for is some semblance of an idea of justice, because there is no definition anymore of what it is. But what we know right now is that a man's life was taken when it should never have happened.